Welcome to the first of my Camtasia videos on how to configure a UDA appliance. Having downloaded the appliance, uh, extract all the files to the relevant virtual machine directory and then start the appliance uh, in your VMware product, uh, either workstation, player, server, Fusion or ESX. Having configured the appliance, uh, within VMware Workstation uh, it might be relevant to change your network settings for example to put it on a host only network to initially configure the IP address or put it on the bridge network on the physical network. Power on the virtual machine and once the virtual machine boots up you should get to a Linux style login prompt The appliance itself comes with a 10 class A address which may not be relevant for your own personal network so I suggest if you do want to change it it's easier done at the command line otherwise you'd have to change your own Windows IP address. That's it booted. The default password for root is test. Once you change to root, if you change to the etc sysconfig network scripts directory, and there you just need to edit the ifcfg eighth zero standard inter uh, Linux interface and put it on whatever network you prefer. Uh, I'm going to put it on my preferred network address, standard class C. You may find like I have done that the UDA appliance doesn't work particularly well with numeric keypad so use the keys at the top of the keyboard. Okay that's that file changed so if you then do uh, I've down on E0 and then I F up on a zero. You should then find if you point your favorite browser to 192.168.1.104 in this case, uh, that's the default interface where it tells you how to basically. Uh, configure initial configure configure the UDA appliance. So I'm going to go straight into the web interface. Again, the default account and password is admin, admin and admin again. And there you'll need to reconfigure the services, which is uh, the next uh, video that I'll demonstrate. 